results are very black and white way of determining where you're going to end up. Often they don't reflect the amount of work put in by the student. Uh, learning to cope with failure is a huge part of life and we need to remind our kids that there are ways around getting the course that they want. Give them space firstly to come to terms with the disappointment of not getting what they want and then support them to put a plan of action in place. Validate their efforts and the efforts that they've already made and remember that some young, per young persons are just not suited to the system of education we have. Uh, there are countless of other courses available if college is what they want and if they need some time out of a situation then that's fine too. So long as they have an overall plan because aimlessness does not help them at all. If they don't know what they want to at this point, and that's okay too, then get them to do something that they actually enjoy, something that interests them so that they will stay linked to education. Moving from home is exciting, um, but it's also quite daunting. So make sure they have the basics of survival first. Even though they might uh, resist, they have to know how to wash their own clothes and use a washing machine. They have to know how to cook simple foods and have some idea of the nutrition. They won't die from eating pasta and ketchup and pot noodle and all that stuff, but it won't um, help them to thrive either. And um, they will have developed a lot of coping strategies in the past year or so to deal with the leaving cert. So ask them what they were, help them to build on those. It could have been uh, sports, it could have been uh, hanging around with their friends, it might even have been Facebook, it could have been things that us as parents we don't understand. But just let them to, to um, call on what they've already um, used to, to help them through stressful times. Mm -hmm.